Hello, welcome to Practical Electronics. Today we'll be going over an example of an inverting op amp. The gain of an amplifier could theoretically be a million times or more. That is, it can multiply the input voltage you apply to it by one million or more times. This, however, would be highly unstable, so we use a feedback resistor across the amplifier to control the gain. Now, the positive and negative inputs of the op-amp always want to be equal. In this case, with the positive input grounded, it is equal to zero volts. So, if our V in is one volt, and both R in, R F, our feedback resistor, is e are equal, then V out will be equal to negative 1 volts to balance out the two voltages, leaving this at 0. But if RF is larger than RN, this V out voltage will have to be a more negative number. So if this RF is twice that of this RN, this V out would have to be negative 2 volts to compensate for this pause of one volt, thereby leaving this junction at zero volts. Here we have a circuit diagram using the TL081 op amp from Texas Instruments. To supply power to the op amp, we are using two nine volt batteries. This op amp requires a negative voltage coming into the negative power supply input and a positive voltage coming into the po positive power supply input. To do this, you can configure two batteries as so. Positive one and the negative of another grounded, and then the negative of this battery to the negative power supply input, the positive of this battery to the pow positive power supply input. To get our voltage in signal, we're going to rig up a voltage divider coming off this power, positive power supply. And it'll give us 140 millivolts input. For our RN, we're going to use 1 kilo ohm resistor, RF, 3 kilo ohm resistor. And this theoretically will give us a negative 420 millivolts at the output. Okay, now to demonstrate with the breadboard. So first of all, confirm we have to our positive power supply 8.75 volts. To our negative power supply, negative 9.47 volts. Coming off our two batteries, the voltages are slightly different. That's okay. Now our input voltage 0 0.13 volts. Our output voltage, three times that, negative 0 0.4 volts. Perfect.